Hello everyone, this is CEO 100 Abel and today I am doing a vintage computer demonstration. This one right here is an HP Vector VL 6 slash 400 Series 8 DT PC. This model has always been kept as a backup in case the HP Vectra VL 6 350 Series 8 DT PC starts to have some problems. The front sticker right here says designed for Windows NT and Windows 95. By Windows NT, they mean Windows NT 4.0. And this other front sticker says Intel Inside Pentium 2. Because this computer has a Pentium 2 processor with 400 megahertz. And this computer has 64 megabytes of RAM. And it has a 6.1 gigabyte hard drive inside. This is a pretty basic machine of the 1990s. Well, this computer actually has Windows 98 Second Edition installed on it. So, I'd like to start it up and check out some of the things pre-installed installed on this computer just for a few minutes and then shut it down. Let's see how it goes. Many years ago, I uploaded footage of the other model, the HP Vectra VL 6 350 Series 8 DTPC with Windows 98 First Edition on it, which you may recall seeing being demonstrated. So, booting this 6 400 model up should provide a similar experience. So, let's begin, shall we? That's a pretty neat Vectra splash screen. Well, it did blink a couple times, didn't it? But what can be expected from a very old PC like this? So Windows 98 Second Edition is very similar to First Edition, just has several improvements. Here we go. Hmm. That was a strange one second pause there in the startup sound. This is the welcome dialog box. I usually have this op open up automatically every time I start up Windows 98 First Edition, but for the sake of this video, I decided to do the same thing on Windows 98 Second Edition. That good old rock music is pretty cool. Now, as you can see, I have some Windows XP software programs installed on this computer. You may find it interesting that they are installed on Windows 98 Second Edition because they are also compatible with pre-XP operating systems like this. 
Let's start with Windows Media Player. Let's take a look at it for a moment. Well, this looks pretty cool. Pretty familiar, isn't it? Let's see. Help about Windows Media Player. Which version is this? 8 or 9? Yep, it's version 9, released in 2002. Very similar to Windows Media Player 8, included by default on the original releases of Windows XP Professional and Home Edition. Very nice. There's Internet Explorer 6, but I won't be showcasing it since this computer is not connected to the internet at all. But let's take a look at Outlook Express 6 next. Good old splash screen. This was first released in 2001. About Outlook Express. Oh yeah. Version 6, indeed. This is the Welcome to Outlook Express 6 message. Let's see, what other XP icons can we find? Oh, this address book software is here. It does have the the Windows XP address book icon. And in the software itself, it does have those Windows 9X styled icons for the functions. Hmm. Interesting. Oh yeah, this people icon is Windows XP styled as well. Pretty cool. Alright, time to shut this computer down. Well, that's it for now. I hope you all enjoyed this demonstration video. Goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.